Hi there, how's that camera angle? Uh, you're in my lap right now because I couldn't see and the light's really bright behind me and uh, be quick. I'm going to cut over to um, all the lovely progesterone stuff that's behind me because I do want to get into that. For all of you who are using this, because this was helpful to me when I was reading a lot of um, blogs and chat rooms, this cream, again, it's inserted vaginally, it gets clumpy. Yes, it gets clumpy. You know what I mean. Um, so basically, you're putting it in your vajayjay, and you put it in at night so that it, you know, your body soaks up all that progesterone goodness, and then uh, you wake up. It just gets clumpy. What I would say is, if you are getting like a little buildup or like a weird discharge, just put your finger in your vajayjay and kind of scoop it out while you're in the shower. Um, if that's gross to you, wait till your baby gets here because you're going to be putting your fingers in a lot of other stuff. Um, so just, you know, might as well practice now. The comfort level may vary. It's your body. Love yourself. Get to know yourself, girl. I'm going to switch to my phone and move around over here and we're going to play with some progesterone. Yay. All right. So the Cronone progesterone, 8%. Ready for its close up. So here's the box of what it comes in. Oh, I just realized my name is on there. I probably should cover up my last name. Um, the part I want to show you is for vaginal use only, 8% gel. It's more like a cream, but you know, I'm not a manufacturer. Maybe there's a legal reason they call it a gel. It's white and creamy. Apparently gel. So. So just know that when you see it. I'm not going to. They're kind of expensive, so I'm not going to show you a fully loaded one, but I'll, I'll show you as much as I can. There we go. That's my copay. U.S. dollars, folks. Mm, baby making is not cheap. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you open the box. You have, like, all of these lovely packets. Let's see if I can get that into focus. There we go. Mostly focused. So they come here. It's progesterone gel, 8%. Um, they're all nice and neat in there. And open. This is going to be tricky because I have one hand free and the other one not. Uh, I may have to reshoot this part. But anyway, it comes in. You get these two pieces. You know what? I'm going to sit down and, and do this. Because <laughs> this is not going to work. Uh, but it comes in those two pieces and then come and join me in the chair and I'll, I'll get into what you do with those two. Okay, back in the chair. Hey, so you have this, the packet that comes in there that we just looked at and it, and it comes with two pieces here. So it has this, which has the medicine in it and this is a plunger and it kind of looks like, you know, a giant tampon, if you will. This part, you just insert it in here. You're going to insert it until it clicks. I'm not going to click it for this, but just remember, you insert it until it clicks. Um, and then you don't want to force it because you're going to make the medicine come out. And then this part, you take off. And I can't remember if it's a screw or a pull. It should be easy, though. If it's hard, oh, so if you're struggling, do the other one. So you do this. Um, you insert it at night. I just do it right as I'm in bed. I lay down and boop. Uh, you take that part off, put it in. Uh, you want to have it. You want to feel your cervix when it's in there. So you know you don't want to jam it in there. But gently insert it until you feel like a little bit of resistance, and then you're in the right spot. And then you just push that all the way in, and the medicine comes out. You then pull it out. There will be a little bit of remaining product there. It's fine. It's for packaging. It's not counted as part of your um, dosage. Think of it like when you have um, deodorant and it has like that little piece at the bottom. You know you're not supposed to use all that. It's just there for the packaging. It's not counted against the ounces. So don't freak out uh, when you see that. I had to do a little bit of, um, well, I didn't have to. I did a little bit of... Um, chat room research to find out about that so in case you're wondering it's meant to be there so that's pretty much it the doctor has me uh take the progesterone from three days dpo until period or pregnancy and so i think there are also people in some of the chat rooms who said 
they have to stop the progesterone in order to get AF on flow their period. That's not the case for me. I keep taking it until the until AF shows up. Um, you talk to your doctor and you'll you know they'll tell you what to do. Obviously, I am not a medical professional. I'm huge disclaimer in case you were confused about that. So yeah, but I'm hopeful and I'm here. And so thank you for being here. Talk to you later. Bye.